Well, the retail apocalypse striking again this week with Pier 1 announcing massive store closures and rumors spreading that the company could be headed for bankruptcy. But what will happen if the company does go bankrupt and what different bankruptcy options could Pier 1 choose? It's time for Yahoo You. Yahoo Finance's Brian Chang is here with this week's lesson. Brian. Well, class is in session, and today's topic is a little bit of a downer. That's options for bankruptcy. And let's illustrate this with a made-up company. So let's call it Chung Shoes. Again, I manufacture sneakers, and the times are really tough for me. So I declare bankruptcy. Yeah. And ever since we made that play to buy crosstown rival Chung Shoes, I've been saddled with so much debt, I haven't been able to see the sales that I need to recover the amount of money that I owe. So it's time to work on my bankruptcy filings. Now, there are a few options that we have here, but the two big ones are detailed in chapters 7 and 11 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. So let's unpack a little bit. So first of all, we have chapter 7, and this is when the liquidation really begins. First off, any outstanding leases get cut off. So the good news is I'll be discharged of the loan balance on the company car, for example. But unfortunately, I also have to give the car up. Now, for companies, this could be huge. So think about other things that I might have leases on. So office space, warehouses, the chief executive's private helicopter, et cetera. Uh, a trustee, in this case, will also be appointed to then liquidate the rest of Chung Shu's assets. So things like my trademarks, the intellectual property of my sneaker designs, uh, even the remaining inventory of my sneakers. Now, what happens with the money that the trustee is able to scrap together with those sales? Well, they're paid out to the lenders. So Adam and Julie, in this case, probably for less than the principal that you lent to me in the first place. But... This is a full wind down, so sorry guys, you're gonna get whatever you can possibly get. Now, if this sounds like complete closing the doors, well, you're right, this is exactly game over. Basically, all the assets are liquidated in a chapter seven. But what if you wanna clear some of your debts, but you wanna leave your assets, at least some of it, to have maybe one more shot at a comeback. Well, then you can do a reorganization or what they call a chapter 11. And in this case, Chung Shoes would submit a debt repayment plan to the bankruptcy court. So it'd be my plan to pay down all the debts that I'm due, even if I don't have the money right now. So I could say I do some things differently with my business to improve revenue by let's say 50% over the next three years and then use that money to pay my creditors. So chapter 11 means I don't have to uh, sell my house. That's also, that means that I don't have my personal assets at risk. So under chapter 11, as an executive, the only personal assets that I have at risk are the value of the stock that I hold. Now, the same goes for all the other stakeholders in the company, but I do wanna mention that this is generally speaking. So in a sole proprietorship, for example, my personal assets actually would be on the line, so it does have something to do with incorporation. But it's important to remember that Chapter 11 is a two-way street with my creditors. So again, Adam and Julie are the ones that I need to pay back in the end. So if they dislike my plan, they say, you're never gonna get that revenue up, they could convert this Chapter 11 back to a Chapter 7 and say, you gotta close your doors entirely. And in fact, the creditors could actually be the ones to bring me to Chapter 11 in the first place. So it doesn't have to be me deciding that I think Chung Shu's needs to declare bankruptcy. Uh, it could be the, those that actually have stakes in those loans as well. Now, according to the U.S. court system, there were over 773,000 bankruptcy cases filed in the U.S. in 2018. But this also includes personal bankruptcy cases, so it's not just companies. But you'll notice that the majority, that's the purple here, 61%, were Chapter 7, and that's the full closure. And this represents, obviously, the largest part of this pie chart. Do you notice that only 1%, a little sliver, that's the blue bit, is actually covered uh, under reorganization under Chapter 11? Now, it sounds like Chapter 11 might be the more attractive way to go for bankruptcy because at least it offers a way to bounce back, but it's very difficult to pull off. I mean, imagine that creditors would be skeptical. If my company had poor management to get myself in the hole in the first place, it'd be hard to see how the same management could get it out. That it is important to note though that there have been success stories in the past. So think about 1996, Marvel, that uh, small comic book company, they actually climbed out of chapter 11. And then there's also all the major airline carriers. So United filed for chapter 11 in 2002. Delta in 2005, and also American Airlines in 2011. So guys, a lot of different options here for Chung Shoes, whether or not you guys will get your money back in whole. Mm. A different question 